Rich Dude, Shiba, and a Rich Dude. Welcome to probably my last episode of tonight, because I'm a little bit tired. So, guys, let's get into this. So, guys, basically, guys, we have a we had got last episode. We had a couple good conquests where we took some more of our natural land and lots of rebellions formed, and it was pretty nice. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna deny it. it was pretty nice to have all those guys just start to form and you know have all these people just start conquering everything and oh, man. I loved it <laughs> like seriously I loved it so anyways guys um in this episode what are we gonna do I really think we're just going to be relaxing for a little bit I do not want that alliance with the Ottomans don't know why they keep asking um but it seems like slowly but surely my capitalists are starting to take over take over the uh um, workforce, which is a good sign, like, my capitalist, wait, my capitalist taking over is a really good sign, guys, like, once we have more and more capitalists coming, oh my goodness, yeah, we're making way too much right now, go down to 65, this is the way I want it to be at, oh, we're still making too much, 60, 60% taxes, that's the lowest I've ever been. Oh, yeah, I could probably even go lower. Should I go lower? Yeah, let's go to let's go to 55. Let's be really controversial for our day. That doesn't mean I'm going to give them complete freedom, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give them some freedom. So, yeah, I'm, I have a million in the bank right now. It's not like really I'm really stressed for money right now. I'll be honest, I'm not. So, let's see, I'm making my new army down here. Which is going to be comprised of mostly, of mostly good soldiers, which is good. And then tunnel relationships with Burchan. I doubt. It seems the Russians have decided. Oh. You turned again. Ha! As much as I love this, as much as the uh, the um, Chinese hate me, they actually don't hate me that much. As much as they hate me, they hate the Russians more. Oh, I love it. So most likely they will win this event just because of the fact that no one else likes them. And this is not really a European theater, so no one really cares in Europe. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. All right. So let's keep, while we're here, we might as well keep expanding our factories. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna start a new unsubsidizing um, program. Because I'm getting tired of, like, there's places like over here that don't really need to have, you know, um, stuff. So I'm gonna start unsubsidizing um, stuff that doesn't really need stuff. If you guys know what the stuff is. Okay, so this is not gonna work. Um... This is really profitable. I'm looking for like 11s, 8s. Because the more we can unsubsidize, the more we can, you know, get back to work. Uh, oh my goodness, yeah. This this is actually making money. Yeah, definitely upside that. Uh, unsubsidize this. You know, unsubsidize this. Oh my goodness, that's making a lot of money. Okay, yeah, there we go. See, is it still making money? Sometimes the market's really, really fragile with that. So let's get that. We'll find out in a second if all these factories can survive. Which is going to be a scary thought if they can't. Because I kind of need them all. I need a lot of them. So let's see. What piece? Sure. Now don't ever bring it up again because I will kill you, Russia. You are my ally, but I will kill you. Literally, kill you. Kill like, kill, jump off your face, you will never live again. If you try that kind of stupid stuff again. Okay, I'm gonna make another factory here, gonna make another factory here, gonna make another factory here, gonna make more factories there. Just, just generally make more factories, that's all I gotta do. Because I'm making so many a day, it's crazy. I mean, my land is so profitable. My land would be, if I was not a great power right now, this would be profitable land. And, oh my goodness, I just went to six power. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so close to Austria. And the rest of the world too. Like, my score, guys. 
We are. We can become the third great power in the world. China's still scaring me though in a lot of aspects of life, but I'm becoming less and less so. You know what I mean? Like they still scare me, but they're starting to become a minor scare. Like I'm starting to be able to deal with their scares. Okay, 36. I think we're missing one horseman. I think he might have died, and I think all my troops are starting to become communist. That's not a good sign. That's definitely not a good sign if all my troops are starting to become communist. Though most of my population is a part of bureaus and stuff like that, so I guess it does make sense, but... Ah, and look at Europe, guys. Wow. North Germanic Federation wants an alliance with me. How strong are they right now? 385. Not as strong as me. Which I accept? Well, I, I don't... Th they'll probably be... I don't think I will. And the reason why, guys, is because I don't want to be dragged into some stupid war for some stupid reason that I wasn't really, you know, I didn't really want to do. And we're probably going to have to hire taxes just a little bit. Because, yeah, we're, we're just kind of mean that way. Uh, I'll keep it a little bit low for the rich. I'll be a little bit specialty. Okay, and we got somebody we can sphere finally, maybe Japan? Japan. Yay! I think Japan's finally in my sphere. No, still not? Okay, the Chinese must be trying to, like, kick me out. Because there's no way, there's no way I can be friendly twice. I remember last episode I did, I added them, and then, yeah. <sighs> oh my goodness, factory cars. What the? My name just randomly changed. That was weird. Okay, so, steam rollies, electrical rollies. So let's go with steel alloys. All I'm doing is just making sure I have all this tech down. But yeah, last, like I said, last episode we are right now upgrading all the railroad systems for everything, which is awesome. But oh my goodness, wait a minute, these guys joined me! Oh, hallelujah! 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 That means look at this guy. That's why my nation just randomly changed. It's because a lot more people are starting to join my massive cult following guys oh my goodness we just have this region and this region I swear we're probably gonna have to rip these guys out because these guys are just gonna be way too hard <laughs> oh my goodness but yeah that's so awesome we are almost there guys you know what I might do because I've been looking at Nepal for a very long time now is I know it won't actually give me anything but I want to see what happens if I go to war with them Like, just a war. I want to just completely and utterly destroy Nepal. Nepal isn't actually part of our greater Indian Empire, but... Okay, established protectorate would be slightly quicker. Let's do that. Ooh, this is kind of a dangerous part, too. Well, I can always free a little nation right here called Skalem. Things really go bad. Please, let's, let's hope nothing goes bad, actually. Let me, let me do my secret trick. Okay. Okay. Fascist. We have fascists? Oh yeah. Japan introduced them last episode. That's scary. So now we have to deal with the fascist menace. We have to deal with... Maybe Kray... Maybe Gandhi Hitler? <laughs> Gandhi Hitler? Maybe he's our new... He's like the guy we have to really worry about and then the Tunjin thing happens. They're coming for us, guys! They're coming for us! Ah! <laughs> oh, they're coming for us, guys. They're coming for us. Oh, I know no way, no how those guys are coming for us. Work smarter. Because when now we're a great nation, we need luxurious needs. And right now, our population is booming. Not booming to the point I'd really, it'd really grow, but I don't really care about population at this point because it's... 1.8, that's not too bad. Right. Nepal's gonna call in Bhutan. Uh, well. Wasn't really planning on annex. Wasn't really planning on annexing them anytime soon, so I guess it really doesn't matter. And the sad part is, is that... Is that my vassals are gonna have to join in too, so let me just declare war. And my mom wants me to end it. 
Sorry guys, I didn't mean to say that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish out this one and I'm going to have to do it really quickly. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to finish up this war and then we will let you guys do it. Go kill Buta. Go kill the uncivilized people. Once we finish up this war, which will be really quick. Like, really super duper quick. This war is gonna be like seconds. Then we will have a good. We will basically have our empire almost looking less. Look our, we'll have our empire looking more and more bloppish every day. Okay, we're done. See, like I said, really, really quick one. There we go. And now look at our land. Now we own all of the Himalayas. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at that right there. This India is quite powerful and scary. We extend from all of Central Asia, and then we go to even Africa and even so, even Indonesia. Wow, we are just scary, guys. We are just scary. Also building more factories. Now I have... Does that mean I get a new land route? No, that still means I have to travel. So this is still a good barrier for preventing other people, but yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. Alright. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a good, fun episode. Um, a little bit shorter than usual because I have to go to bed. My mom is looking at me and she's like, yeah, you better go to bed now. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.